Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we finally have our next release of Vivaldi rolling out, version 6.9. And Vivaldi, unlike Edge and Chrome, is more on an eight-week release schedule compared to the three to four-week schedule of the other Chromium-based web browsers. So basically, Vivaldi leaves no stone unturned with these releases due to that longer release schedule. Now, if you are running Windows, to double check, you have uh, the update to version 6.9. We head to our main menu, help, check for updates, and this will start the update process if it hasn't done so already. Now, once the update has been applied, the browser is sitting on, as mentioned, version 6.9 with build 3447.37. And yeah, we can also see that the Chromium platform, which the browser is based on, has also been updated to the latest stable version, version 128. And I would assume, although it's not mentioned in the change log, I would assume that that also includes the four security fixes that have rolled out as part of the Google Chrome weekly security updates addressing four high severity flaws. All of those are high severity. And uh, um, if anything changes, obviously I will post and let you know if this did not include those security updates. Now, just to go through some of the key highlights, because there's a lot going on and the change log goes on forever, but I'm just going to focus on the key highlights uh, so as not to keep you here all day with this video. Now, first of all, you can now easily rename your tabs and tab stacks, which um, Vivaldi says um, the renaming will obviously help you um, to rename your tabs to something that they say makes sense to you. So as an example, if you right click, click on rename, and there we go, and ABC, just as an example, and that tab now is renamed to ABC. So if that's something you'd like to do, you can now rename your tabs in the latest version of Vivaldi 6.9. And while we are talking about new features, if we head to the downloads panel, you can now drag your files directly from the downloads panel. And that also works for the little hub yeah, to the top right. You can now drag those files and copy and paste those directly um, to your local drive as an example. So that might be handy if you are running a lot of downloads in the browser. And then you can view sync tabs in a clear structure. So if you use Vivaldi across multiple desktop devices, you can now get a new structured overview of all your open tabs directly in the Windows panel. Now, I haven't got any sync tabs, so I'm just going to use a screenshot provided from that announcement and the change log to give you a general idea. And uh, Vivaldi carries on to say, so when you open the Windows panel, you can see exactly which tabs are open on your other desktop devices. And they are organized in a tree structure, as we can see. And the new structure separates the devices, workspaces, and tab stacks. And this makes it easier, Vivaldi says, than ever to pick up where you left off when you're removing from your desktop to your laptop, as an example. So um, you can now view your sync tabs a lot better according to Vivaldi. Then moving on to the next, and if you are using the mail and the calendar, now I don't, but if you are using uh, the mail in the Vivaldi browser, apparently they say they've made several improvements to mail in this release, where they've made more than 40 fixes for mail and calendar, and they've also rolled out stability and performance fixes, basically to ensure that mail is um, a lot more reliable. So quite a lot going on under the hood with the mail and calendar. So if, so if you are using both of those in the browser, that should bring a lot more stability into those components. And then they've also rolled out bug fixes and performance enhancements. Now there's too many to get into with this video, else we would be here all day. So in this release to version 6.9, Vivaldi says they've addressed several issues reported by the community improving everything from tab behavior to user interface responsiveness. So that's more or less, guys, um, that's in the change log from version 6.8 to 6.9. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.